As a percussionist, Nishalin Pillay has made it his mission to use his beats to unite people in music and to have a positive effect on anyone he encounters. That truly makes him an agent of serendipity and Nishalin was happy to explain how and why he does it. Born and raised in Peter Marisberg, Nishalin Pillay has always been drawn to rhythm and his habit of tapping his desk often got him into trouble in the classroom. Then one day, his teacher suggested that he take up the tabla and there was no looking back. Hey, Nishalan, how are you doing? Hey, Madhushan, nice to meet you, man. Thank you so much for inviting me to your chill-out spot and I can see why you love coming here. Ah, it's good to have you here, man. I must say, this place is just stunningly beautiful. It's really beautiful. I yeah. can really imagine why you love coming out. Not this is as hard as it looks. I mean, the tabla is considered the hardest in percussive instrument to learn, but I mean, with the practice and a few years, you get the basics done. <laughs> Can you show me a little bit about how to play it? Okay, so basically the tabla has its own language. You get your syllables like ge and na and tita. Then you put them together to get da da tita, da da tita, da da tita, da da tita. And you create these sentences that um, come about in compositions. Why don't you grab a seat and I'll show you some more. What is the first step in learning how to play the tabla? Okay, you get the basic syllables as I told you. So to play ge, you just strike it here with the middle finger and pointing finger. So you can try that okay, out. So on the edge and... Yes, and you strike the edge uh, of it. There we go. <laughs> yes, you got it. You got a gear All going. Right. Over here, you keep your ring finger at the edge of the black part and you strike there to get na. Okay, so... Okay. It, it will get there. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it'll get there. Close enough. Yes, so that's your basic syllables. And then obviously... <laughs> that you're striking the center of the black part that so you see. Well done. <laughs> Nishala, when did you discover that you had a flair for music? I did this open mic gig with a few friends just for the fun of it. I had no intention of becoming a musician. Ever since then, I've never stopped. I've played probably 250 gigs in 18 months. What are some of the instruments that you've experimented with? The tabla, as well as the cajon, which is a South American drum. That's my core setup. And then I always add some cymbals or some djembe. So it's a very unorthodox hybrid kit. Although his initial training was in the Indian classical tradition, Nishalan has always felt driven to explore new territory. And to date, he's collaborated with more than a hundred local musicians. Being out here brings a lot of peace and solitude. How does it help you on your musical journey? In nature, just sitting out here, you hear all the sounds of the birds, the wind, and unconsciously you, you're adding to your library of sounds that you can imitate or at least try to imitate. Uh, but it's definitely to relax, to still the mind, and learn how to express yourself individually and in solitude first, then go out and show people. After scraping through grade 11, Nishalan discovered the power of mental discipline and excelled in his final year at school. Spending time in the wilderness is a meditative process for him and he took Madhushan on one of his favourite mountain trails to share the experience. Nishalan, I must say, the trail was absolutely beautiful. I can genuinely understand why you love coming out here. Yes, it's absolutely necessary, I think, to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life and just come seek some inspiration outdoors. How do you balance your personal life, your private life, and now your professional life? Well, I start my day off with some exercise, uh, yoga, basic yoga, some gym work. I feel it's very crucial physical exercise to be optimal as a human being. Uh, and I try and stimulate my brain as well. Main priority has been music, but there has to be the balance to keep sane, I guess. The devastation along the garden route set Nishalan on a personal mission. He's long been inspired by the great Swami Vivekananda and the late Nelson Mandela to work towards the welfare of his fellow human beings and the environment. Recently, I've been on a Change for Nisner campaign, going around the country, the garden route, Cape Town, collecting money literally in a tin can that I recently handed to the humanitarians in Nisner that's used for the rehabilitation of the wildlife as well as projects that are coming up there. As a South African Indian, I feel like it's perfectly suited to being a musician and doing the, the stuff that I do because we have this rich heritage coming from the East and as well as South Africa, this diverse library of cultures to create art. So it's an ideal spot to be as a musician, as an artist in general. Nishal and I had a lot of fun on this trail, but I do know that you have some other musicians waiting. Yes, we're about to do a rehearsal for an upcoming show. Let's go check it out. Despite being independently minded and comfortable with solitude, Nishalan prefers playing with other musicians because this enables him to broaden his creative horizons while helping them to expand theirs. 
It's a spontaneous exchange of ideas and energy. And bit by bit, it helps to make the world a better place.